Howdy folks, this is Jaybird Drone and I'm out with the Xeno Mini SE Standard Edition. I'm going to do a waypoint mission tutorial today and then we're going to do a, a uh, range test on the next video so stay tuned for that. We've got all of our updates done. The last version is 1.1.1 so let's go ahead and take off. Let's check our home point and that looks good. Let's go back to this. We're going to um, do a manual, or we're going to do an automatic takeoff. Kind of a little bit of a windy day, so we're doing kind of a wind test too. Kind of drifting away from us. So let's go ahead and do the... Um, waypoint mission let's take it up about 200 feet this little guy's fighting the wind pretty hard today I think we'll be all right let's fly over this way so Okay. let's go up a little bit higher we're down by the river so it is a little bit more windier but I'll do the best I can we got 96% battery these batteries will discharge after a couple days they're smart batteries Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe go up a little bit higher. We're just going to do a basic, do like a um, straight out waypoint. So we want to click on this X here on the left of the screen. We're going to go to waypoint mode. Now, mission wave or waypoint mission planning is what we want. And then record waypoints are the ones that you've already done that you can redo. So we got it on the map here. Let's go ahead and do this. We're just going to fly it straight over to the other side. We're going to select draw. Then we're going to do the dots. I do the first one there. And then the second one. And then the third one back to us hopefully if I can get this thing to work so we're gonna go ahead and hit submit and then hit done and then hit ok and this will go to our set points that we've selected now this drone's going up to the set parameters that I've set on the settings and I'll show you how to do that So now you can see that it's going to the first point. It's over to this little field that you can see in the center of the screen. It's going about 13 miles per hour. Checking on the map. It's going right to number one. I do have the mode on wind resistant, so you will see that message pop up quite a bit. <clears throat> and then you can still adjust the gimbal while you're in the waypoint mission. Okay, so we're getting to number one there. Might have to fight a little bit of wind coming back to us, but not really a concern. But this is the Xeno Mini SE, stands for Standard Edition. Okay, we're out to number one. And now it is heading towards number two. Let's 
it is fighting a little bit of wind as you can tell the, the speed's gone down about a mile it's doing pretty good it's out there pretty good see some of the boats down there let's check the map it's going towards the number two point this is the waypoint mode you won't get this on the DJI drones which is pretty cool to have if you're into that it's kind of fun to use these different modes you got orbit mode follow mode I'll try that one next and just walk down along the river here and show you how that works all right so now it's coming back towards us as you can tell This is the waypoint mode. <coughs> yeah, not doing too bad. It's about the same speeds. It's not really much wind, I guess, up there, but kind of breezy where I'm at. Excellent signal strength good FPV and then if you ever want to stop the waypoint mission you can always hit that stop button there on the left of the screen so as we're getting to number three here it's gonna stop on its own this is a final stopping point for us and then it'll tell you mission completed there it goes all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you it's got a hyperlapse, it's got waypoint mode, orbit mode, follow mode, creative video, line, fly mode. Let's go back to normal mode. And I'm going to try a little bit of a range test. Just down the river, maybe go out about a mile, not too far, but I figure why not. Let's go this way. Let's try it out and see. I'm just right down there. I'm just gonna fly it straight down since we got good battery at 79%. It's got pretty good battery life. Advertised 45 minutes, but in reality, you might get, I don't know. Let's go ahead and start our recording back. But you might get a, I don't know, 35 minutes maybe. Depends on conditions, wind, sport mode. It all eats up battery. Let's go ahead and just send it down a little bit. Let's try to just do a mile. Nothing crazy today. So got pretty good signal strength. Gimbal's working good. Going about 18 miles per hour. Probably fly back on the uh, sport mode. Cruising along. Okay, we're approaching half a mile now, 
5280 is what we're looking for. Still doing good on that FPV. Gimbal's still pretty responsive. Ice even horizon. No issues with that. And I like that uh, you get on the Femi Mini. That thing has problems with the horizon all the time. Even on the X8 model, the big one. So we're still going. Still got a fully functioning gimbal. 70% on the battery. Still really good. We're just going to do a mile today. Kind of an overcast day. Kind of gloomy, but for December, I'll take it. We're still cruising. we go one mile beyond so that's pretty good let's do a quick y'all around not bad for a little guy kind of a windy day so can't beat it Right, let's try that sport mode it's called expert mode we're gonna fly it back full stick forward we're coming back about 32 33 miles 34 wow this thing's got a little bit of pickup on it 34 miles per hour it's pretty good Thanks, hauling ass. Let's check the map. It's pretty good. Up. Oh, Getting a USB disconnect. Now it's returning the home fail safe. I would recommend upgrading the cable. So hopefully this is coming back to us. We'll see what happens, folks. This is always kind of a nerve-wracking situation. You get that USB disconnect. controller says returning to home so we'll see what happens I will upgrade that controller cable I think she's coming back. Still don't have FPV yet. Well, maybe we lost her, folks. Mm. 
Nope, I hear her up above. She's coming down. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a new cable for this. I'll upload the video off the SD card because we were recording. There we go, folks. Let me see if I can get this um, video to come back on. Well, I got the screen recorder going. Man, that's kind of nerve-wracking. USB disconnected. Let me try to reconnect it to the uh, controller. USB disconnected. All righty, here we go. Got our drone back. This was a good example of how to, there it goes, disconnecting again. Huh. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, I unplugged it from the controller and then plug it back in. These cables are, not gonna lie, junk that come with the, the drone, so you wanna always get a new cable. Let me restart the app also. But we got a pretty good um, conclusion with the uh, waypoints. But upgrade this cable, folks. I'm going to get me a new cable USB for it and try it. So I do not like those um, USB disconnects during flight, especially. All right, so here we go. Hopefully, this you can see me on here. Let me see. But we were able to recover the drone, and uh, we got a pretty good range over a mile. And then we did our waypoint missions. I'll do another range test on the next video, a little bit longer when I upgrade the cable. I'm gonna go on Amazon and get one. I'll let you know what I find on there. But uh, always upgrade this cable here on your controller. Because the one that comes with the drone is complete trash. I'm not going to lie to you. And, um, you know, stay tuned for the next video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like my videos. And subscribe to my channel. Hit that all notifications bell to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. Including this Xeno Mini SE Standard Edition. And uh, we'll run it through some more um, missions coming up. Stay tuned. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all of you. And uh, fly safe. Jaybird Drone signing off.